Frog football back again. Time for some Monday morning transfer news. And it seems like Celtic is pretty much the only team in the entire SPFL. Because every day you wake up, Celtic seems to be the only team that are being linked with players that are interested in signing players. And nothing changes again this week with Celtic making more contact for the Egyptian and Al Ali attacking midfielder Mohamed Magdi. Now we made a video about this a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago, about Celtic having interest in this player. It's a player that they've actually tried to sign in the last two seasons. So maybe they're trying to make it a third time lucky, but they are trying to get this deal over the line. He appears to be in pretty good form and it looks like his transfer value has actually skyrocketed over the last couple of seasons. So Celtic like might have to pay a couple of million pounds to get this move over the line. But I feel like an attacking midfielder is probably the last of what Celtic need. Maybe someone in like a cam role, but in terms of like wide players, I mean, you look at the Celtic lineup and the Celtic squad and they've just got tons of wide players from Maida, Yota, Abada, Haxa Banifich, Forrest. I mean, you name it, Celtic literally have, you know, like six or seven wide attacking players so I don't know if they need another one in there but yeah Mohamed Magbe is a player that looks like eventually he could become a Celtic player potentially in January and another player that Celtic have been linked with is South Korean forward Chu Gu Sang now it seems like Celtic are interested in bringing in another striker and this could be to replace Georgius Yakamakis we know that he's not exactly happy at the moment well it's him or his agents but it looks like Yakimakis could be on his way out of Celtic and I feel like if Yakimakis is going to leave it might be because another player is coming in he's already considered pretty much second in the pecking order behind Kyogo Furuhashi if Celtic do bring in another striker and Yakimakis then drops down to third in the pecking order then he'll be even less happy with that and I can't imagine a guy that is such a good goal scoring record as he does is going to be content being third choice striker it's just not going to happen. And I think if Giamakis... I think Giamakis wants to be number one. He's not happy being number two. He certainly will not be happy being number three. But Chugun Sang, he's had a pretty impressive World Cup so far for South Korea. He's netted two goals in the group stage. And I'm sure he will be looking to add to that tally when South Korea take on Brazil in the last 16. But he's also being monitored by Fenafaros, a team that Celtic know quite a lot about, have played them multiple times in the last few years. But you feel like if it comes between Fenafaros and Celtic for this guy's signature, then surely he'd be more likely to choose Celtic. Bigger clubs, better wages, just seems like an all-round no-brainer that you would choose Celtic over Fenafaros. But we'll see, there could be more clubs interested in the 24-year-old South Korean. And it's, yeah, it's no surprise to see Ange go to the Asian market, but yeah, this would be the first South Korean that Ange signs rather than Japanese player. Now, in terms of other teams, what else is happening in the SPFL? Robbie Nielsen has come out and said he expects Hearts to have a quiet transfer window so it looks like Nielsen isn't expecting the Jambos to be busy in January which kind of sucks I was hoping Hearts would make a signing or two but it looks like that's not going to happen and new Rangers manager Michael Beale has came out and he has said that his Rangers squad is just as good as Celtics he says his Rangers players are every bit as good as Celtics I don't believe that whatsoever I think Rangers squad is the inferior to Celtics in pretty much every single position and I believe Rangers are a couple of seasons away from being able to challenge against Celtic I genuinely believe that Michael Beal doesn't seem to think that's the case he seems to think that Rangers have got just as good a squad as Celtic I just don't see it midfield Celtic are much better 
I think attacking options, I mean, you look at Celtic's wide players, I mean, like I said earlier in the video, they've got so many options. You, you look at Rangers and they've struggled. They, have, they haven't had a good right-sided midfielder in about five years. Uh, they've got Kent, who's out of form. You've got Matondo and Sakala that sometimes play it in the right, but are not impressive, they're never really, um, you know, contributing too much, so attacking wise, they've got Cholak who, I mean, is having a good season, can't deny that, but would you really take Cholak over Kyogo Furuhashi, I don't think so, you've got Morelos who's out of form, out of shape, uh, the back line, yeah, Tab's good, but you've got Juranovic being linked with big money moves away, I think Greg Taylor's in better form than Barisic, and I mean, at the back, Cameron Carter Figures looks more solid than, than any player Rangers have, so... I mean, maybe, you, I mean, I don't rate Joe Hart, but at the same time, I think Al McGregor's pretty much past it. So, yeah, I mean, I look at all the, I look at every position, and I think that Celtic are, are superior to Rangers in pretty much every area of the pitch. So, I do not believe Michael Beale when he says that his Rangers squad is every bit as good as Celtics. Anyway, that's it. Quiet day at the moment for the SPFL transfer news. Who knows? Hopefully, there'll be more news happening the closer we get to January. But it looks like Ange isn't waiting. He wants to get all Celtics business wrapped up before Christmas. And maybe he wants to put a nice wee bow on top of these transfers as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. More football news, hopefully, coming later today. We'll catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.